Hey YouTubers, I'm Kyle and I'm learning to play the trombone. And in learning to play the trombone, I've discovered all these things that I never knew. So today I wanted to talk about seven things that nobody tells you about the trombone. Number one, it's awesome. Seriously, it's, it's just awesome. I mean, it's sometimes hugely challenging and immensely frustrating, but it's just so much fun to play. I mean, there's no other instrument that I can think of that can do this. Or this. Number two, it takes a lot of air. I thought I knew how to breathe, but apparently not. The first couple of months of playing the trombone, I, I kind of felt like a, an asthmatic competing in a triathlon while wearing a face mask and only having one lung. I'd take these huge big gulps of air and then four beats later be completely out of breath. But every day I've been doing some breathing exercises and it's slowly getting better. And the upside of all these breathing exercises is suddenly I, I feel very calm. I feel very zen. Number three, slide positions. They are never where you think they are. I mean, not only is there no kind of guide or, or markings along here to try to figure out where the seven positions are, but even when you think you've got them down, they move, they change, depending on what note you're playing. So, on trumpet, when you put down the first valve, that's it. You've mastered the art of putting the first valve down. But on trombone, so first valve is kind of like third position. And third position changes depending on what note you're playing. So it's a little out for F and then back in for B flat and then out quite a bit for high F and then in quite a lot for A flat. And then of course you've got to adjust for the temperature of the room and the current wind speed and direction. It's just insane. Number four, clefs. There are three clefs that you're expected to read in when you play the trombone. So most wind instruments, you just read in treble clef because that's easy and it's simple. But no, 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 not the trombone. We're going to do the things the hard way. So most of the time in trombone, you're in bass clef, which is easy enough. But then sometimes when the music gets a bit high, suddenly you start reading all these ledger lines on top of the stave. So bass clef, you've got uh, grandma bakes, Dried fruit always cause every green badger. It, it gets really, really confusing. So sometimes it changes into tenor clef, which brings those high notes back into the staff. But then when the music goes low again, you go back to bass clef. So the trombone goes up, you go to tenor. Trombone goes down, you go to bass. Simple, hey? Oh, except that sometimes you read in treble clef. Which is easy, because everybody reads in treble clef. Except that on the trombone, when you read in treble clef, suddenly, magically, the trombone becomes a B-flat instrument. So that note that you know and love, that you thought was a B-flat, is now called a C. Number five, alternate positions. You can play the same note in two different slide positions. Sometimes even three different slide positions. So I knew from playing trumpet that you can play the same note with different fingering and it just kind of works. So for example, a high E on trumpet is open, no fingers, but you can play it with one and two, but it would be a little bit out of tune. So why would you? But on the trombone, you can just move the slide a little bit and that brings the note back in tune. So suddenly there's this whole world of alternate positions that opens up. And this is really, really useful when you've got to play fast because sometimes you can find an alternate position that's, that's a little bit closer so you don't have to move the slide as far. This blew my mind and I've been having heaps of fun just trying out the same phrase with different alternate positions just to see how it sounds and feels. And as an added bonus, you can do this.
Number six, going against the grain. So this one kind of follows on from alternate positions. It gets a little bit technical, so stick with me here. It's really hard to slur between two notes on a trombone without getting a big slide in between, a big glissando. Glissando! But if you move the slide in the opposite direction of the notes, you can do away with the glissando, glissando. and get an actual slur. That makes absolutely no sense. Okay, so let's say I wanted to slur from a high C to a high D. So third position to first position. You get that big slide, you get a big... But if I play D in fourth position, then the slide is going down and the notes are going up. So I'm going against the grain and you get this. Which sounds a whole lot better than this. Mind blown. Number seven. The Timmy Trumpet Trombone TikTok Challenge. Try saying that three times fast. Timmy Trumpet Trombone TikTok Challenge. Timmy Trumpet Trombone TikTok Challenge. Timmy Trumpet Trumpet. Timmy Trumpet Trumpet. Timmy Trumpet Trumpet. Timmy Trumpet Trombone TikTok. Timmy Trumpet Trumpet. Timmy Trumpet Trombone TikTok Challenge. It's really hard to play because it's so low. So there we have it, seven things that nobody tells you about the trombone. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to keep practicing and I'm going to keep making videos, so feel free to join me on this musical journey together. Go on, it'll be fun. Subscribe, you won't regret it, I promise. Please like me.